is Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? Bringing you my first Fortnite Season 7 Victory Royale gameplay. I hope that you guys definitely enjoy it. I actually had some other gameplay saved up, but they were from a few days ago, and I just got this one just now, and I figured I should post this one because, of course, I do a little bit of work in it, okay? It's pretty good, and in addition to that, we are going to be discussing GameStop. Being your, like, GameStop YouTuber here, being the GameStop YouTuber that I am, I figured that it's pretty important for me to give you guys my two cents, my perspective on this whole uh, debacle that GameStop has recently found themselves in. A lot of people are saying that GameStop will be going the way of Blockbuster and all that, but I just wanted to give you guys a different perspective on it. I think that a lot of you guys will agree with what I'm saying. A lot of you might disagree. I don't know, but I definitely did want to share my opinions with you regardless, because I think that's what that's what you're supposed to do here on the internet machine, on this YouTube platform. You're supposed to give your opinions to an extent, I believe, before YouTube comes through and hits you with that whoosh, demonetization you know what i'm saying but if you guys could please drop a like on this video if we get you for like if we get you for 500 likes that would actually be pretty amazing i would really enjoy that so check the like bar uh if it's not to 500 please leave a like we haven't hit 500 in a minute so that'd be really cool of you guys thank you very much for that in advance and um yeah i just gave away like 20 bucks uh psn to somebody so if you guys um, want to follow me on Twitter, you definitely should because I'm giving away a ton of battle passes Ooh. for Season 7 of Fortnite. And if you don't play Fortnite, then you can just get like a gift card or whatever. Uh, doesn't matter. Just subscribe, like the video, follow me on Twitter, and go retweet the tweet that I just put up, man. So go do that. And now that we're 15 minutes into the video intro, I figured I should probably start talking to you guys about what's going on. So if you don't know, GameStop reported a loss of 500 million dollars to be specific it's 488 million point six but i mean who's really who's really counting you know i have 488 500 a trillion it's all the same it's all the same what i feel like once you get past like the number three million it just it all becomes money at some point but either way it is a lot and a lot of people because of this and people have been saying this for years when I worked at GameStop, when I worked at GameStop, there would be people who would be upset, customers that would be upset, and say, this, like, even then, customers would even say, this is going the same path as Blockbuster, or you always hear that online, especially. For some reason, there's this huge, it's, like, fun to hate on GameStop online. I don't know, like, for me personally, if GameStop would, I think it's the same as Blockbuster, man. Some of my favorite memories as a kid are going to Blockbuster, picking out games, getting snacks, Getting some movies, going home, you know, playing Goemon Mystical Ninja, playing some random PlayStation games, because I feel like Blockbuster was around when I was like seven, right? So, and if you don't know, there is like one Blockbuster left apparently that's in like Alaska or something. So there's like one lone Blockbuster out here in this world. But I don't think that GameStop is going that same direction. I'm going to give you a bunch of reasons why. I'm going to let you know what's going on. So with the reported $500 million loss in quarter three, 2018, they also have said, and this is something that I don't see a lot of people mention, they've also said that they've seen an increase in hardware and software sales, okay? So that is kind of negating the whole crazy loss or whatever. But overall, they're saying that they're actually, it, it was a, an overall good growth period during quarter three, despite the fact that they had such a loss. And I want to say this, there is a lot of, um, People saying that because digital games, because you can download games straight to your PS4, your Xbox, your mobile devices, your computer, your PC, your laptop monitors, because you're able to do that, so many people are saying, oh man, that's going to take the place of GameStop. Um, do I see that possibly happening? It, it could definitely be possible, but I don't see it happening anytime soon, at least w not within the next decade, in my personal opinion. I think that GameStop it still has a long time to sit on the throne. Plus, I, I got to say this. Are we always happy with all of GameStop policies? I, I know that there's some things. I mean, clearly some people aren't happy. I can't put that video in of the guy knocking everything over, but you guys know which one I'm talking about, all right? I posted a video about it recently, and it got copyright claimed. Apparently, everybody who posted that video got a copyright claim from some, some company that claims to have purchased the original footage from the guy who filmed it. I don't believe it at all, but YouTube's whole system is kind of trashy, so I didn't even bother with that whole situation. But I think that if GameStop were to be gone, a lot of people would look back on it fondly with nice memories and be like, ah, I kind of wish that we still had that place around, you know? So even though stuff is fun to get in with internet memes, I think that people don't always, obviously people don't always mean what they say. And especially um, in the case of GameStop, it's literally the only store 
dedicated or EB Games or GameStop or whatever you want to call it. It's the only store dedicated to video games. Like that's pretty cool in my opinion. Like that's and, and I just think that maybe we're being a little bit a little bit a little bit brash, a little bit uh a little bit quick to uh put, you know get upset with certain things. I don't know. In, in my my personal opinion, I don't want to have to download all my games digitally at least until they figure out the whole memory storage system on these new systems because of two two and a half reasons. One, I got like three games on my PS4 right now and um 100,000% there's no more room on my PS4. My PlayStation 4 has zero room left. I cannot download another game. I can't put another game in there. So until we start getting um, reasonable amounts of memory space for these games, I don't know. I just think it still blows my mind that like you would download games and you can buy games or whatever, but they you can only ha have four at a time that are saved to your actual PS4. That's they gotta figure that. They gotta figure out something with that whole with that whole system. I just I need to throw that out there. But with GameStop going the same direction, the same route as Blockbuster, I think that it, it is different. Uh, until you have a Netflix for games that's readily available for everybody, I just don't see it being a thing. And being somebody who's worked at GameStop, who knows a bunch of people who still work at GameStop, who do all these things, I know that GameStop stays pretty on top of... Um, they're, they're, they're clearly trying to stay and adapt with the times. As you guys know, a lot of people... Um, I, I see people even complain about this, which kind of also is uh, blows my mind a little bit. Like people complain about people just want to complain. I think on the internet, it's 2018. Everybody wants to be offended, but I, I even see people complain about the fact that GameStop kind of has uh, a whole merchandise vibe to it now, where half the store seems to be, you know, Funko Pops and gaming merch and all that stuff. And in my opinion, I think that that's that's kind of them trying to adapt to changing times bringing a different a little bit of a different market i think it's kind of cool that that stuff is there but with that being said gamestop is trying their best to adapt to the newer the newer age right so they keep up with a ton of people on social media they follow me on twitter which is pretty cool so clearly they've seen some of my viral gamestop videos we need to get another viral banger from gamestop um i don't know what's up with youtube but like YouTube for a while there, from the, you know 2016, 2017, all my GameStop videos, a million views. They were just recommending them to everybody, and then demonetization happened, and for some reason, none of the GameStop videos get a million views anymore. Is there some conspiracy YouTube? Is there some some conspiracy you got going on? I'm just I'm just a little bit I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. So my point with GameStop following me is the fact that they do keep up with social media. If you've been into any of the the GameStop stores lately, you will notice. That on the GameStop TV, when you see that TV that's you know behind the behind the uh, the counter that's always playing. If you guys don't know, that thing's on loop like all day. I literally, when I worked there, I could repeat every single commercial word for word on that TV because I was around it so much. And honestly, it was kind of cool. The NBA 2K set, I think it was the NBA 2K 16 trailer, 17, 2K 17, whatever one it was. Uh, I feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord, that whole thing. All I did was listen to that thing on repeat all day. It was it was it was wild, man. But if you look at the GameStop TV now, you'll notice a ton of people. I, I don't want to say any names because I know some people that have upcoming deals with them. But um, I I know for a fact that Doctor Disrespect is on it. There are some other people. I have other YouTuber friends that are involved with them right now that will be posting on that TV. So that means that GameStop is keeping up with the social media side. To have somebody like Dr. Disrespect be present and be part of GameStop is really cool. As you guys know, Scuff Gaming, Control Freaks, those are both partner those companies are both partnered with GameStop. If you didn't know, I'm partnered with both of those companies as well. They were predominantly a social media based company. Control Freaks, Scuff Gaming controllers, these are all things that, you know, Really cool controllers and really cool accessories for you controllers. If you guys don't know who they are, check them out. I think I got links in the description probably. Use code FLOW. Pick one up. Um, code FLOW saves you uh, some some monies, which is pretty cool. Code FLOW on G Fuel, Scuff, Control Freaks. All good right there for you guys. But, be, but GameStop is partnered with these newer companies. GameStop is working with these social media starlets and stars. These big people in the community, GameStop. I mean, I'm just saying, man, I feel like I've had the most viral GameStop videos of anyone. I deserve to be on your GameStop TV at some point. I don't know for what, but we should definitely collab. Um, but my point being with all of that is that one thing that 
that was failed to be capitalized on by Blockbuster was the newer the newer age technology, right? So if you guys don't know the story, Blockbuster, when they were going, like, had a pretty big, you know, uh, pretty, when they were falling down, right? When they were stumbling, Netflix actually was in the process of being built up. And Netflix, at the time, I think that they had, like, at the time they were sending DVDs to people's houses, and then they got into the streaming thing, and now you can just watch Netflix whenever. Netflix tried to sell to Blockbuster for, like, a pretty reasonable amount, and Blockbuster actually turned them down. And I forget exactly the reason, um, but I think that Blockbuster was basically the mega giant, and they just didn't see Netflix going anywhere. So I actually looked it up right now. Blockbuster CEO passed up Netflix uh, for fifty million dollars. So fifty million, if you didn't know, at the time is literally they had it, bro. They could have bought Netflix, been the owner of Netflix. And it ended up, they ended up just, you know, passing up that opportunity. And now Netflix is worth, uh, it doesn't say on this site, but let's just go ahead, uh, ballpark estimate, $400 billion, okay? $400 billion. No, wait, hold on. Here it is right here. They're actually worth $33 billion, which is pretty, uh, pretty crazy, man. And after Blockbuster failed to capitalize on that opportunity, once they saw Netflix gaining steam, they actually ended up trying to make their own sort of Netflix and it didn't work out, all right? And so what they failed to do there was to foresee what was happening, right? I don't think that GameStop is failing to foresee the future. I think that they, clearly they've heard the blockbuster memes and they they see all that stuff, right? GameStop is pretty in tune with everything. And I think as long as they get on board with these social media people and as long as they're, you know, continually trying to adapt their store, I don't know the directions for them to take specifically, you know what I mean? I'm not a businessman, I'm simply a guy who makes videos on the internet and occasionally fights in YouTube's boxers matches and gets beat, get beat, gets beat up, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but I think that because of the fact that GameStop is staying, trying to ride these waves hard as possible, right? They're staying in the wave, they're staying in the water with everybody. I think that because of that, they're gonna last a lot longer and be around for a pretty long time much longer than a lot of the naysayers give them credit for i see a lot of youtubers and a lot of people talking about like gamestop's dead three years from now there's not gonna be a gamestop bro i would bet my whole my whole bank account that gamestop will be here for at least another decade if not forever just because of the fact that they are making good moves and i guess that's not something that a lot of people look at but when i see a company that only sold video games uh, not doing, you know, not really changing, and then adapting, having merchandise with video games. Oh, social media people are a big thing. Okay, we're going to follow these guys on social media. Let's bring them in on this. We'll put them on the GameStop TV. We're going to work with them, collab. We're going to be partners. Oh, what's this company? This company that's predominantly a YouTube-based internet company. Oh, they sell controllers. Let's partner with them. The fact that they are reaching out and building so many bridges, I think, is going to be the thing that ends up making GameStop stick around for a very long time that's my opinion i just saw the whole 500 million dollar loss and basically people were just saying and that's not that they lost 500 million dollars for some reason it's that their stock went down right so that's apparently what's going on and a bunch of youtubers are coming out just being like oh that's this is what's going on this is what's happening and i think that a lot of people are failing to see that there is a lot more going on than simply what meets the eye you know what i'm saying and that's my that's my only point but I hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on this. Please subscribe to the channel. All right. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's that's probably the most important thing that you could do. But um, yeah, man. Other than that, I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, probably got a vlog coming at you next. But I'll see. You, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you then. All right. Awkward intro, outro. Peace and love makes the world go round and GameStop stuff, you know. I'm over it and out.